Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this video is specifically for a friend who have asked about VD account industries limited and as you know this share was trading in the range of 112 rupees to 100 rupees before this insolvency process being initiated and if you are new to this channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button below so that you could listen this video fully and also you could get our latest updates regarding many shares guys and moving on as I said yes guys this share was in the range of 100 to 112 and as you know guys once upon a time I mean in 2008 to 2012 that was a peak time for Videocon Industries group to have a beautiful amount of profit revenues for good etc but as you know the interest coverage the interest amount is around 57,000 crore 57,000 crore Videocon and its 13 entities Basically, Videocon, you know, as Videocon D2H because of the installation of Dish TVs. I mean, because of that, people may to know about this Videocon industry. And as you can see here, now the share price is at 2.12 rupees. Various investors have invested in this share at various levels, guys. And uh, the news regarding Videocon industries in this video, we're gonna see fully, guys. And before all that, let's see the shareholding pattern. The latest shareholding button has come guys and it is giving that 40% is been hold by the promoter and we should tell that at, at under is 36% is under a place plus type of things guys and you should also know that public saw 3 lakh 30 members are holding around 19 lakh I mean sorry 19 crore 84 lakh shares in this company which means around 60% of shareholding and you should know here guys they have already said that they are going to have the meeting on January 15th, 2020 in accordance with the insolvency process. Guys, this is, C, they will call it a CARP, Corporate Insolvency Resolution Process, in which the company which is under insolvency would be uh, taken under the meeting of COC. COC means Committee of Creditors, where the people will talk about who would be the buyer to buyer, I mean, who would be the buyer that could come and acquire Videocon Industries or sell the Videocon assets and pay the debts. For example, as you know guys, Alok Industries is going to be taken over by Reliance Industries and Ruchi Soya has been successfully taken by Ratan, sorry guys, Ruchi Soya has been taken successfully by Patanjali Ayurved and the share was also listed in the market. But this is already going this and the result of this corporate insolvency meeting is that when 20 hours, 20 hours back, a news has came that Actually, February the 4th was the meeting, I mean the halt of this meeting, I mean the last meeting was, be, was, was to be on February 4th. But the court has extended an another 90 days for this corporate insolvency resolution process. And they have, with Videocon, they have totally 13 merged entities. And you should also know that it is internationally, it is known as Videocon Group. And you should also know that they totally have around 57,000 crore of amount payback and this all happened a 4 or 5 years back when they start taking the loan then they start taking to get loan without any basic fundamental things and if you ask me what to do now guys and if you ask me if you are already holding this share only when the resolution plan gets completed and we get any new information regarding who is the who is the buyer or where they are going to any sell their assets or they are going to Dip restructuring process can be done. So these three things are mainly to be noted. And unless and until any one confirmation final thing is not going to be come from this video called industries, one cannot be sure for these guys. And if you are already holding the share, the only hope for you is to wait until the any results come from the corporate insolvency resolution process which is also known as CARP and if you are willing to buy this at this price guys then my advice would be to you is if you want to take risk and if you want to play an intraday trading game of 20 pays or 10 pays then you can definitely buy it. but the risk is very very high guys I mean the risk to reward ratio is just 90% guys because you don't know what will happen anytime if things go good then all the best for you guys and this is what about video on industries we want to tell in this video guys and we hope we have shared this video and see another video very soon regarding many shares. And if you have any other doubts in regarding any shares, leave it in comments below so that we could put a video about that share also guys. Thank you and see you on us again.